out of all of the anime that I've seen from winter 2013 and winter 2014, I have to say I enjoyed Pupa the least. If you have not read the manga, then this is not for you. This is only 12 episodes. Each episode is 4 minutes long, counting the opening and closing. So it's about 2 minutes of content, maybe 3 minutes of content per episode, and it's really nothing. When I did my initial first impressions, I had a little bit of hope for this series, because first of all, it's so short and has good art, and it looked like the story was going somewhere. But now that I've finished it, to me it really feels, now granted I have not read the manga, but from watching this, I get the impression that all they did was take specific points out of the manga, maybe some of the more memorable points out of the manga, and they take it and they animate it, and there's really no continuity at all with the story. It's just a bunch of random events with really no connection to it. Pupa is the story of a brother and sister named Utsutsu and Yume. Now, the younger sister, she gets infected by some sort of virus that makes her turn into some giant creature and then for some reason the brother has some sort of virus as well that allows him to constantly regenerate now because his sister has a taste for human flesh she is eating her brother i kid you not about half the series here is about yume eating her brother and that's not a euphemism she's actually eating him i'm talking cannibalism they're on the bed and they try to make it to be some sort of intimate moment between the two and first of all they're brother and sister so it's kind of creepy secondly she's eating him so that's even creepier i can think of what is it like two or maybe three episodes here where she's eating him maybe even more than that but i know that episode six the entire episode that's all she's doing is eating him and saying his name and all of the all you see is just blood and there are times when you'll see organs taken out and I really feel that there's so much gratuitous gore within the series and so little substance that you don't really have a whole lot with the characters or a whole lot with the plot itself. There's a lot of elements that make you inquire about the characters and the plot such as the characters having a hard life with parents that used to beat them, their father used to beat them, and then there's a lot of parts of the story, like there's this witch-looking woman who has something to do with Yume's transformation, and it really makes you want to read the manga, and that's really all that Pupa is. It is either just fan service for everyone out there who likes the manga and they want to see certain parts of it animated but they couldn't get enough of a budget to make an entire series out of it or it's just an advertisement for the manga and to be honest it's not really that much of an advertisement to me because all it is is just inconclusive story with a lot of gratuitous gore and I didn't really care for that so that's really all I'm gonna say about this I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time about it because it's only maybe like 10 minutes worth of content in the entirety of the series, so I'm going to move on to the overall presentation. This would have to look good, because it's only about 10 minutes worth of content throughout the entirety of the series, so if you can't make that look good, then just go home, don't make an anime, just keep making manga, and don't worry about making an anime series. But it looks pretty good, the characters look good, the environment looks good, the monsters look grotesque, and I really have to commend them on that, that they do push the uneasy feeling that you get when you watch the series because you have people eating each other then you have someone getting tortured and then he's healing and then it's really a lot of gratuitous gore honestly and the art style really pushes that uneasy feeling with it as far as the audio goes honestly i don't remember it's like 10 minutes and it's you know it's over before you know it all i can remember is that opening because i heard it so many times because when i did this review today or before i did this review i just took a little bit of time and watched the entire series again and uh you know that opening it, it's really stuck in my head now i wish i had skipped it so anyways moving on pupa overall i can't even give this a rating because honestly i didn't enjoy it i had expectations for this but ultimately i was let down and i'm not someone who's squeamish against gore and someone who doesn't like gore and anime and i don't go out of my way to watch it but I don't think that really anybody would find this to be enjoyable unless they read the manga to it. So if you read the manga and you like the manga, then check out Pupa. If not, then I would have to say to pass it, sorry about not putting any like content, any footage or anything, because there's so little amount of actual content in the series that if I put anything, that's like half the series there. So anyways, if you've seen Pupa, let me know your thoughts about it in the comments section below. And of course, if you've read the manga, then let me know your thoughts about that as well. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it, comment, and of course, subscribe and share with your friends if you want to. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.